In this demonstration, we're going to show you how to use PowerShell to manage storage cost policies. So uh, to start, I'm going to use my command uh, to retrieve a list of the policies. I'm going to do a get storage cost policy, and uh, I'm doing this from a remote machine. So I use my sim session to go and connect to my scale-out file server. And uh, that will give me a list of the policies that I have on the system right now. So I have the, the defaults always there. Then I have a gold VM and a silver VM policy. And uh, what I can do here is I can create a new policy. So I'll do new storage cost policy. Again, I have to specify the sim session, which is the machine that's going to uh, be the cluster. Uh, the scale out file server cluster and uh, then I'm going to have to specify a name I'll call it bronze VM and I'll specify a minimum IOPS and also a maximum IOPS uh, say 100 and 200 and then uh, last but not least I have to specify a policy type which can be either multi-instance or single instance I'm going to say multi-instance meaning that uh, each VM will get these limits. They're not going to be combined into a single uh, limit for the uh, set of VMs. I'm going to go ahead and do this, and you see I created a new policy. I'm going to go ahead and do a get again. So you see that the policy uh, is effective. Uh, the other thing I can do here is if I get a specific storage policy, uh, let's say I look at the a silver VM, I can get just that one up oh, sorry specify the name so I get the silver VM and uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pipe this to get storage cause uh, flow to get just a list of VMs that have that policy applied to it so and they are running right now. So this is a current list of flows. So you see that I have five VMs uh, with that policy, and I can also uh, go ahead and say that I want to uh, look at. Uh, let's say I just want to see the initiator name, which is a VM name, and uh, initiator IOPS and initiator uh, latency. So that will give me a list of VMs with the proper IOPS and latency right now for those. So you can see that I have two at a thousand, which is my uh, limit, my maximum for for that VM. And those are being uh, uh, essentially uh, uh, limited by uh, storage clause. You can see the latency number there. And the other ones are below the maximum. So they are, are pretty much okay. And you have a very low, uh, latency for those. I can also take a look at the other VM that I have here, which is applied, the, uh, has the gold VM applied. Uh, so the gold VM policy has one, which is uh, also being limited right now because you see it's right at the limit at 5,000 IOPS. So uh, this was a quick summary of how we could go and create policies and query uh, policies and current flows using Windows PowerShell.